Welcome to the second installment of the CG character workflow from Fuse to Mixamo to Photoshop. In this segment we are going to pose the character. So here we are in Mixamo.com. We go to sign up for free. Those of you who don't subscribe to the Adobe products may not have an, an Adobe ID already. So sign up here, it's painless. If you already have an Adobe ID, which you need it for this class, um, go ahead and sign in. What I wouldn't do is use the Facebook or Google. Those links were giving me some uh, password reset pain and suffering. So I'm just going to use a legitimate Adobe ID. Once you log into Miximo, you have two tabs. There are animations and characters. Miximo has a, a bunch of preset characters. We're not going to use those, of course. We want to upload your special design that you made out of Fuse. So we're going to go to the Upload Character. Now that you found your character, you're looking for the export that you made earlier, and you're uploading the zip. Here it is coming up. Click Next. This is crucial to get it right. Aim carefully. Maybe a little hard to find the wrists through the clothing. But do a good job here. Aim for the knee caps, not the underside shadow part. Try to be symmetrical. Pay attention to the example on the right when you mark the groin. Try to stay along that center line. And here we go. This will take a second. So that took a few minutes. But there's your character brought to life. Next. That's fine. You most likely won't get that message. And there she is. Your character will be here in Miximo when the next time you log in, unless you load one of these other characters, your character will be erased and you have to upload it again so be very careful let's go to the animation tab your first temptation may be to get your character dancing some of these animations will have a tendency to move out of the frame so you can click this toggled view and the camera will follow what I like to do for the first initial standing pose is do a search for yawn. And I found that this particular pose of this yawn is a good one to download for standing. We're going to go into Photoshop and choose the exact pose to capture and move on from from there. So let's download this animation. It's important that you download this. Pay close attention. It is the DAE format. Everything else is fine. Dot DAE format. Let's download. Another good standing pose is hand on hip. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and download that also. .dae. 
it'll take a lot more research for you to find that character like pose that you really want for your personality the number four pose you're going to put on your sheet but I know I got a neat pose that I like and it happens to come from a samba dance and it's this one so I'm gonna download this one while I'm here so let's see what we got in my downloads here are those three that I've got I'm gonna extract them and then move this to my own space I'll do the same for these others So I've extracted all three of those downloads and now keeping a good naming structure I need to know when I go searching for this in the Photoshop phase I know which folder to grab from female standing pose from Mixemo. now I know my steps so I have renamed my folders and I'm ready to move into Photoshop so here we are in Photoshop and to work on each one of your views I want you guys to set up a new document that is in pixels let's do 2800 by 2800 give you some room to play with the pose 300 pixels per inch is fine. We're going to go to 3D, new 3D layer from file. I'm going to go ahead and choose the yawn pose, the dot DAE. This is fine. Well, sure, Photoshop. Thank you. Now that she's in here, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my workspace. There are three important palettes. The 3D, that's extended so you see all of the bits and pieces. Next is layers. Let's have that torn off also. Expand it so you can see where we're headed with targeting these textures. The next thing, pay attention to the properties. We'll get here often. If you want to take a look around your character, grab the orbit tool and pan around. This is moving the camera. This will zoom the camera in with a click and drag up and down on the canvas. You can crop, so to speak, your character in this viewport. This will pan the camera left and right. And this will swing the camera. If you get lost, just return here to the default camera in your 3D panel. It will reset. If you want to move the character around, then you need to target the skeleton. Now these tools operate the character. Your instincts are to grab it and drag and you're gonna get it all out of whack. No worry. Here in the properties panel in this tab right here is the coordinates. Just hit reset. We don't want to fool with this palette. We don't want to sign in. In our lab the Adobe sign in does not work. Therefore if you have your own personal log in you will see animations here they're all the same from Mixamo however don't apply new animations from this palette because it will just overlap the animation from Mixamo and cause some distorted positions it's embarrassing so don't try that speaking of this is your timeline here you will find that you have to create a video timeline in order to get to the frame in the animation. We're going to click here and make sure the drop down says video timeline. 
and we'll click this button. This is your animation. Right now, this static pose has, at any given moment, a pose to choose from. Personally, I like the very first frame for my character. I think it's a good natural standing stance. If you want to rotate your character, be careful not to grab the scale and do something like this. Not attractive, right? If ever you have a doubt, there's a reset for this. This is your history palette. Extend it open, and you can go back in time to when you made a good decision. Instead, aim carefully, and you can see that you can hover over and you get the option to rotate the character. Didn't like that. If you aim carefully, then you can find the character rotation on this axis. Or simply, choose the orbit tool and go to rotate and hold down the shift key and you will constrain either left and right or up and down shift key let's reset now's a great time to save your work standing pose now that the pose is done we can move on to the next step for editing textures right here in Photoshop